What's up YouTube and welcome to Doug's Life. Today we're going to fish at this lake, Lake Balboa, and I have a challenge. I have a little mini pole here, a pocket pole that Molly gave me. It's actually a fish, you can see the tail here. And when you close it, you put the cap on, it looks like a little fish. And on Amazon I found this reel, so I bought it. And it doesn't fit in the reel because it's too big for the small rod. And it's not small enough, I guess. So I got some zip ties and I uh, put it on. If you have duct tape or zip ties, you can fix anything. But now we're going to fish and uh, we're going to try to catch some big carp and tilapia and maybe a bass or two. First cast on the mini pole and I got a nightcrawler on here with a split shot weight up here. And now we're going to cast it out for the first time and see how it works. And I'm stuck. Alrighty, first cast. I can't pull it too hard because I might break the pole. So I gotta be careful. Got it free, hopefully I still have a hook. I still have a hook, so, but no worm. So we'll put a new worm on and cast it back out. Molly got a bass. Molly got a nice little bass. Her biggest one yet. Good job, Molly. He's gone. This thing's really hard to cast. Oh, got one. I think I got a bass. On the light, ultra, ultra, ultra light pole. My PB at Balboa. There he is. My Balboa BB. It's not much, but it's something. He's got a gash right there. He got attacked or something. Let's weigh him. 0.64 Let's release him back There he goes He bit me on the way out, it's pretty funny Alright, we got a new worm in there And uh, we're gonna catch it back out Alright viewers, if you're watching right now and you ride paddle boats at a lake, do not ride in front of the fishing poles. You'd think it's common sense, but it's no longer common sense in this day and age. This is pretty much how winter looks in California. I know it's rough, but we're out here grinding. I don't think I bites, but I don't think I hooked them because like, you can't hook them with this pole. I think it's tilapia. We got a bluegill here, I'm pretty sure. On the ultralight rod. I'm only the bass. Molly's on. Oh, I need to get my pole too. Molly's got a fatty. Molly, definitely your PB. 1.5 pounds, Molly. Good job. Beast. He's good to go. Healthy fish. And now we'll try some bread and see what happens. We got another fish here, I think. 
Yep. Oh, oh, it came out. It came out. We lost it. Wah, wah. You got something? Yeah, we got something. Yeah, I'm filming. I was a little heavier than anything else earlier. Now we gotta fight in this little pole. What's it gonna be? The many, 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 many pole. But not many fish, I think. It's pulling. I got wear it out. It's a carp. I may need the net. Black hole pounds. Uh, it takes a lot of work. This pole's gonna break. <laughs> Come on, guy. Go. I can't get closer to the net. You got Molly, get him. There we go. On the little mini, mini pole. Let me get him on hooks. All right, now we're gonna weigh you. See how much he weighs. Let me say. Two and a half pounds. Three point two twenty. Now I release them. Let them go. Hey, stop. And he's gone. Success. I'm back home now, as you can see. Here's the pole. The many, 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 many ultralight pole. And the reel is held on by zip ties. I know I mentioned that, but I'll mention it again because it's pretty crafty and it worked. And this pole did not break today. I thought it would. It was hard to use. It doesn't cast very well. And you can't hook a fish because there's no backbone. There's no support here to you know, hook a fish. So it's like, it's like trying to hook a fish on a slack line. It doesn't do anything. When I had a fish on that, I just reeled it in and it would eventually hook it. And it didn't have a good hookup ratio, but it was still fun. I had a great time. And the fight was a lot better in this pole because it was so light and you gotta reel a lot and you gotta, you can't, you can't force it in, you can't, you know, muscle it in. So you had to really be patient and reel it and fight it and reel it and wear it down and bring it to shore. But for fun, since I got a scale here, I'm gonna weigh the pole and see what it weighs all together. Oh, I gotta turn it on. This pole weighs. 0.51 pounds, so it's a half a pound. And it weighs more than I thought, and all the fish I caught today weighed more than this pole, which is kind of funny. I had a lot of fun using this pole today, but if you guys want to see it again in another video, maybe a top water video or a salt water video, let me know in the comment below. I think it'd be fun, but eventually this pole will break and it'll probably be on film. So let me know if you want to see it in another video, or if you have an idea for me for another challenge video, let me know. If you liked the video and want some more, hit the like button below, get a thumbs up, also leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Thank you for watching. Peace. Almost nailed it, but didn't.